Hi, in this video I would like to show you um, the new update of Hovercraft system from Alec Games that adds the ability to make the Hovercraft a car and just um, I would like to mention that this even though it does simulate a car it's only a simulation of a car, it's actually a Hovercraft that adds tires so let me just show you how it looks and wait a minute okay so uh, here if I play it you can see that there are tires and they turn and let me show you um, my hovercraft does not turn because I do not accelerate uh, it will turn if I do You, I mean that's a new setting you can disable it if you want to but here you can see it drifting and it simulates more of a jeep as you can see the um, and I will wait a minute let's just find the okay here is a pretty rough terrain I will just drive there and by the way this can jump still as the hovercraft so this just puts these tires so they are on the ground and if it may be an interesting way of locomotion in your game, for sure. Um, but I mean, it's not a car. That's real. It's a hovercraft. Uh, but you know, it looks like a car. You can. I mean, if you have the right models, it drifts, and it's actually I, I like the dampers. Uh, they look really nice. They look like this car would be really stable, but uh, so yeah, this is uh, the new update. It just adds this, and by the way, if you would like to, because um, it because here you can see it turns, but doesn't really turn, and there is uh, that's because in the hovercraft here the turn time is independent, and if you set it to independent it may now turn even when it's not going anywhere so yeah but i prefer it to dependent and by the way in uh, instant dependent does not take any uh, velocity into consideration so it will turn only if you accelerate and dependent takes velocity into consideration so if you are still going you can turn a bit uh, so yeah that's the difference but here you can see uh, that uh, these are the working cover points that actually push the ones with race and this these uh, tires are just placed here they do not do anything they are not actual dampers or anything like that and if you wish you can set the uptight to normal and now they are going to adapt to the terrain even more by uh, adjusting the rotations so they always uh, look or uh, yeah but it may r result in some weird results so I just put it to normal uh, to the up I may add some dumping to this because here on the side it looks pretty weird so here it's yeah <laughs> that's very not natural so here is normal and normal fixes it and there is some jittering because the normals change and uh, you can fix that by s adjusting some speeds uh, you will yeah uh, not for now though uh, you will be able I mean you will be able to fix that maybe in future updates uh, but for now I will not add a setting like that so just saying uh, be careful of that and um, now let's look at how to add this tire simulation uh, so if I just create oh, a new hovercraft I will just make it out of a cube and I will place the cube somewhere accessible so yeah this is my cube uh, I just go uh, on the other monitor I just go uh, shift alt h and then this opens 
here I set some stuff oh and by the way change this layer to something else not the ground layer click generate and there is my hovercraft it works now uh, so yeah if I will just remove this and I added tilting so this one is going to tilt so yeah it's just basic hovercraft settings not the best uh, for this shape in particular but it does work adapt nicely and yeah this cube is kind of thick so you can see it uh, touches the ground sometimes but uh, now we'll be fixing that so well first of all let's change the hover uh, points because these are okay at first but let's make them with a grid uh, grid spawner and now here I will reference this and yeah now I will just align and yeah just make it extrude a bit so yeah this will be good enough I suppose uh, spawn and they are just going to get spawned so now I have these points assigned automatically and this is going to be way too much for this force it will be very unstable so i will just do velocity change and then like free and then copy the settings and now let's see if this will be even working because i don't know if this amount of hover points mm, yeah it works just fine now just uh, some stuff that's left so it's pretty low as you can see here uh, so, uh, well, we have to turn it into a car, so that's what we'll be doing in a second. But now the ground detection I will just change to like 4, and then the hover height. Oh, and by the way, if you you can make it hover like on this height, but then it's going to be really unpredictable. And yeah, the, the turning. Uh, but yeah, we will be raising it up a bit like free yeah I think that this will be good enough let's try them out yeah I will just okay so this will fall free and then this I will change to fall as there is 48 hover points so maybe a bit more force will be useful but anyway uh, now to make uh, wheels and make this into a car a car like thing let's set it to dependent because that fits the car mode it's most car behavior thing as you can get so let's now create an empty object and call it fire simulation and now let's add uh, uh, hc which is hovercraft tire simulator so we have to reference some stuff in it and yeah no. let's set it to 4 the detection height the tire height offset i do not know what will be the tire yet so yeah now let's create two empty game objects one will be tires and the other will be points and the points are just the points that uh, the tires will be referencing the rays from so now if i just and the grid spawner and I will set this to 2 and this to 2 to make a square although let's actually create more tires let's uh, select this kind of shape I'll just adjust these settings and by the way this is the 100% accurate visual representation of how it will look because it uses the very same algorithm to uh, oh, and just is really annoying me sorry that this is so thick um, okay uh, so this is 100% visual representation of how it will look because it uses the same algorithm that it will use to play these points place these points uh, so yeah um, yeah now let's just spawn them and now they are spawned I can just 
I will actually copy this component because I will use the very same thing here. Uh, so uh, paste component values, and here you can see these six points uh, placed down. And here I will actually uh, not bother placing them spheres uh, on each of these points. So I will just create uh, this. Actually, to make it look different, I will make cubes as uh, the tires because just to show you that you can actually do that with the system. So I'll just yeah, this is good enough. And this has to be a prefab, so I will just put it in the assets for for now. I will do it later. And this is all that I wanted from it. And I will just reset uh, the positions because it's a prefab and put this cube here so now if I spawn as you can see it spawned cubes on each of these grid points so that's very cool indeed and yeah and just spawn them name them nicely and that's done so now the turning tires they will be two turning tires and four regular tires now hang on with me here it will take some time to um, reference all of these points wait a minute these are the main two or I don't want to make this mistake again uh, yeah these are the forward ones okay so by the way this has to be default and yeah okay uh, so these two are the forward ones yes and then let's reference the other ones and by the way, this null reference exception there was because I didn't finish referencing these points. They all have to be referenced, and for now there is no automatic way of doing so. So that's a bit annoying, but yeah, I will have to kind of have to get through with just placing these. But it didn't take a long time, so yeah. Now uh, turn angle is the turn angle of the turning ones here. Oh, and actually this is a bit too small of a scale so I will just scale it to 0 0.5 I thought it was correct and it ain't so yeah this is oh, damn it. okay this is good enough so uh, now the turn speed is the speed of turning so I'll just set it to like 120 because why not and this is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 my half is 0 0.35 so I'll just offset it by like 36 and now if I play it uh, oh I forgot to change the layers of the cubes so this has to be ignore raycast otherwise there will be this weird effect it's actually good that it happened because now you know we have these uh, ref examples now you can remove the box collider actually it's totally useless here I think I referenced the cube row not correctly. Yeah, here. This is supposed to be two. Yeah, okay, now it should work. Mm, yeah, you can see it aligns very nicely with this. And I can just make it normal here. And now I have a hovercraft. And uh, with turning, uh, it looks very <laughs> incorrect, you can say and yeah because it's like a rover but a weird <laughs> rover uh, so yeah now I just place the cam position in a different place okay like here and I actually enjoy uh, these being here as a model part so I will put them in like mesh home and now I will it will not only mask that there is something there but it actually I think looks pretty cool uh, this kind of model so you can create with the grid maker a lot of stuff and here there is a lot of stuff missing like the counter movements are not correct for uh, oh and I think I yeah not correct tires are oh, damn it. okay here you can actually just turn it 180 from what I remember 
yeah now the correct tires are turning just yeah i <laughs> i checked it twice how uh, i don't know okay but anyway now some incorrect values are uh, set as to make it a car but for the correct values and uh, yeah it you can see it doesn't act correctly when well, that's because of the values that i've settled so yeah that's yeah but uh, it's because of some values if you uh, set them correctly it will all or all it will all uh, work fine but um, yeah i will do it not on this video for that you may go to some different videos on my channel and you will be able to see how do i do that it's it's a long video uh, now but yeah and by the way you can see in the tire simulation route uh, prefab that will be included in the prefab hovercraft here uh, there are values that work fine not the best but they work very fine and this will be a prefab too so you can see it later so yeah uh, that's all i want to show you actually and hope it will be useful to you anyways you know like something different to make your game stand out i guess so yeah bye bye and one more thing, uh, you can use this as like flying thrusters uh, kind of thing because if you just raise this tire height offset to like 1, these tires will be um, placed higher than the ground actually is. So if I were to duplicate this and make this 2 and this uh, 0 0.36 I think it was. I get a pretty interesting result of having this like this so yeah it's like a double thingy thingy and you may find a cool use for it I actually do not think <laughs> it looks good at all but you know um, you may uh, make a screw that places the between boxes between and it would uh, look fine then Actually, in my other asset, I think I made a script like this, and it works really well. It's very overcomplicated to place between because I was doing some IK, and yeah, I just needed it for that. So yeah, that's an interesting result, I would say. And you can make a lot of stuff with this. Uh, it's up to you, up to you, what you make with it, but yeah. That's all, so bye bye.